Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner, and I'm going to talk about mod managers in this article, in this video. <clears throat> so going from the begin to wiki page from the Skyrim Mods Reddit. Uh, so mod managers. So there is an article where they list all of the great mod managers. And before we really get much further, I want to point out that your eternal gratitude should be continually expressed towards mod authors. They have sacrificed a lot to do these things and share it with the community. They could have just done this by themselves and just you know, experience the results for themselves, but they decided to share it and sharing it opens them up to criticism and comments. And there's a responsibility, a burden that they feel, and we need to express to them our gratitude and we need to help them with whatever way we can. Okay. Now there's four great managers for mods. The one that I like to use is mod organizer, mod organizer two being the most recent right bash, I think is old and it's, it's good. It works. Nexus mod manager is old and I don't recommend it. It it's what I started on and there's some issues with it, but there's this new version that Nexus is working on called Vortex built kind of the same way that, that um, Mod Organizer was built based on 10 and 24's research into virtual file systems. So Mod Organizer, let's bring that page up here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna read this mod and it says Mod Organizer MO is a tool for managing mod collections of arbitrary size. It is specifically designed for people who like to experiment with mods and thus need an easy and reliable way to install and uninstall them. Requirements, no requirements, although there's lots of things that you can use that require this and permissions and credits. All the assets in this file belong to the author or are from free to use modders resources. You are not allowed to upload this file to other sites under any circumstances. You must get permission from me before you're allowed to modify my files to improve it. And you are not allowed to convert this file to work on other games under any circumstances. You must get permission from me before you're allowed to use any of these assets in this file. And you are not allowed to use assets from this file on any mod files that are being sold for money on Steam Workshop or other platforms. And you are not allowed to earn donation points for your mods if they use my assets. Author notes. There is no notes provided by this author. Uh, thanks to Tannen for making this GPL smiley face. GPL is a huge deal. GPL is great. I wish everybody wrote GPL software. We can have a huge political debate about that one day, but not today, right now. Go to the files. We will download the archive. We'll download that. We get this file over here, um, mod organizer to archive. So we're going to open that up with 7-zip. You've already installed 7-zip, right? Go install 7-zip if you haven't. Open that archive and we get all this. Wow, that's intimidating. What we'll do is we'll go to, um, let's do this, uh, open a new window there. So we're going to go to our games. Let's go to our SSD drive C games. And then I'm going to create a file for mod organizer. Where did that go? I thought I had a file for mod organizer. Skyrim SE mods. Yeah, there, mod organizer. And I'm going to create a new file so I can show you how that works. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this MO, okay, because I know what MO stands for. Go to this directory, take all of these files, cop, copy them, drag them into there. It'll take a few seconds. Patience is necessary. And you can hear all about how Archie's neck is killing him. I'll show you what it looks like when it starts up the first time. I'll show you what I click to. Excellent. So now we have this folder. We click on modorganizer.exe. We're going to use portable. It keeps all the mod organizer data here. We're going to do this game there. Click on that because we've already started and run that game, right? You're using, do I want a tutorial? No, I don't want the tutorial. <clears throat> the next thing that I like to do is go here to settings and I like to change the paths. The downloads I'm going to put in my downloads directory, which is on a different hard drive, into my Skyrim mods folder. That's where I'm going to do the downloads. Everything else stays on the SSD. Okay. And this is mod organizer. You can run, uh, it seems it already found SKSC, so it just put it in there because I already installed SKSC. But you can run Skyrim Special Edition this way. I don't question that. And there it is. That's Skyrim running from mod organizer. Hey, everybody. Mod organizer is great. You need to learn how to use it. If you're going to be modding seriously, it's going to take some time. Take care and bye-bye.